The Senate continues its inquiry into alleged corruption at the Bureau of Corrections. Mea and Los Baños goes over the day's revelations. Yu Yu Klai, a Chinese national convicted for drug trafficking, is an inmate at the Women's Correctional in Mandaluyong. But in 2014, she spent 10 months at the Metropolitan Hospital in Binondo with the approval of then Justice Secretary Laila de Lima. That lady spent 10 months there for a transient ischemic attack and facial pain. How does one get away with that? Sir, I would not be able to answer that. Mm -hmm. uh, the superintendent and uh, even uh, communicated with the uh, NBP in the, in the um, uh, Director General to, to, to ask for help to uh, discharge the patient. That was not Yuyu Klai's first hospital pass. She was again confined at the same Binondo hospital for 23 days for heat exhaustion and hypothyroidism, a sickness that causes uh, weight gain, itchiness, muscle aches, and hair loss. Hypothyroidism. Yes, Your Honor. Parang may ganyan. Hindi lang i-spend ng 33 days in prison, in the hospital, or 23 days in the, in the hospital. Yes, Your Honor. Because pagka mayaman, pwedeng dalhin doon sa gustong hospital. Pagka mahirap, walang gasolina. Over at the Bilibid Prison, as a rule, sick inmates are supposed to be taken to the prison hospital. Senator Gordon asked if it's true that prisoners pay 40,000 pesos for the privilege to go to an outside hospital. I don't remember anything like that. There were there were talks about it. There were talks. Yeah. I mean, there were negotiations. When you say uh, there were talks in uh, parlance, may, mga, may negotiation. May mga kwento. A question from Senator Bongo about high-profile inmates bribing prison officials to carry on their illegal trade was also met with avoidance. Wala kang lalaman na nagpapabayad dyan sa loob? Oh, yes, yes sir, no. yes sir, no. Sa pagkaalam niyo po, wala po ako tinuturo na sino. Mag magkana naman po ang bayaran? Yung kapalit ng overstaying sa hospital. At hindi lang yung overstaying dyan sa Bilibid Hospital. How would I stay that? Totoo yun? May, may, may naririnig lang po ako. Former CIDG Chief Benjamin Magalong testified on what he knew of the drug operations inside the new Bilibid prisons. These Chinese drug personalities continue to remotely manage the drug trade in the entire country. And there is no truth na merong, merong laboratories and BP. Wala po yan. Wala. Wow. And they will not take the risk. Dahil po, bakit po ako magtatayo ng isang drug laboratory when in fact, mas madali ako magpatayo sa labas. Magalong, who is now Baguio City Mayor, helped plan the crackdown on illegal activities inside the Bilibid, but he was left out when the raid was eventually carried out by then Justice Secretary Dilima. He revealed to senators behind closed doors the names of active and retired policemen involved in the drug trade. The Blue Ribbon Committee investigation was prompted by the scandal over GCTA prisoner releases, but more and more, the inquiry is taking us back to what allegedly happened during the time of Secretary Dilima. Reporting for News 5, Me and Los Baños, we are One News. The Senate has released three officials of the Bureau of Corrections after having detained them for a week. Senators had cited the Bureau Corps officials in contempt for supposedly lying during a Senate hearing about alleged corruption in the Bureau Corps. Senator Richard Gordon said the Bureau Corps officials had disclosed vital information during a closed-door meeting. Specifically, they supposedly confirmed that jail officers accepted bribes to, among other things, allow convicts to have access to prostitutes. They also supposedly backed allegations that some policemen were conniving with drug convicts.